loop and uh, confirm them should be enough now I will add the turbo smooth to see the result until now isolate and okay this round part is okay for the middle part I have two choice one is that I select it and set it several times the way that we will use in the uh, actually some other steps some other uh, parts for our modeling but for now maybe the best way is creating because we have one hole here this hole we need to care about this also so I will try to uh, cut some part of my model so I start to cutting make four edges one two three four okay this part I will use here okay should be four or if cannot really just three but not be five and now when I apply the turbo smooth we can feel it that it already remove and solve so the next I need to create a hole here so what I should do about the hole I will select the part that I want uh, be actually my hole so I will insert it with a small amount and okay now I will select this and bring it connect it once select this part connect it again sorry uh, ring it first then connect it with the one right now I need to move my vertices to create something uh, almost a round shape uh, before I need to cut this part also so I will select So I will start to move them well the best way to find if it is right the size and everything is okay is you go and in your shapes you have end gun create one end gun with the eight sides because we have eight sides here and put it here as a reference picture as a reference actually shape then now try to match these with this shape then you will be sure that your final result will be absolute round actually after uh, applying the smooth turbo smooth I mean okay I don't want to be so exact because it's just practice and you can do this part I after I finish I will delete this select the this part this is the whole of the sink and extrude it once 
no need extrude so long so just make the minus two centimeter is enough and hit ok and then hit delete just this part I want a little bit more round so I will select the edges around and loop them and then chamfer well, I need to again loop and see the chamfer okay the chamfer there is showing me there is something wrong so maybe when I was cutting I did some mistake I select these two when I select this part I not click I am not clicking I am click and drag this area and I am sure behind this there is not any other object there is not any other vertices so it shows me there is two there are two vertices selected so it means there are actually two where uh, vertices overlap so I select both and weld them when I weld them if it will be weld or not it is not welding because it is show me two vertices if it has been well okay okay so when I um, yes it already weld now because when I select them again it show me the number of the uh, this vertex the same at the bottom and the weld yes the number of the selected vertex so again is loop and chamfer now there is not any problem chamfer with a very small amount apply the turbo smooth and see how is the result well we have been created the whole of this sink also there is another hole here usually mm, this part actually none of my reference have but some of them have in here uh, but you already learned that how you can create it the same way we can create then we have another small part which is actually the cap of this hole for this I will use a cylinder again before we create this actually I want to create this in the next movie so let's complete uh, this part this sink and select the round uh, when I want to select this around I no need to uh, use the loop because it is edge so I can use as a border shift hold on the shift and pull down once and again for the second time when I do the for the second time I can actually scale it down okay now select the edges around and ring them then connect them two times while they are selected you can scale them out to become bigger and make the rounder shape here at the edge you can select this also and loop it and also scale it a little bit up so see the result until now this is what I have been created but the point is that this part I really don't need so I can delete this part so let's just delete it because here is where is connected or actually attach it and enclose it to the wall and you can select the edges around Push the F4 to see more clear.
clear and use the scale scale it to make it straight and push it to the front okay the last part I want to do actually you can see one a small mistake here one small problem there is a small bumpy here you can see the reason is because we create this line this is small bumpy in here is because we add this extra line in here so it keep it straight so I just select it loop it make sure the both side loop it and scale it to the out but I need to be at the center because my gizmo is not center so I will come here and choose the use selection center and make it up a very small amount okay so it is the problem also solved and uh, here we need a little bit more work at the edges uh, I need to I select these edges around and uh, loop it then chamfer it move this chamfer until it bottom part attached to the this side okay and make it two because I need two actually okay hit the okay now there is actually a uh, some overlapping segment so select this part and loop it again so when I select this part is actually selecting two overlapping edges so after I push the I hit the actually uh, loop it select the both they are overlap so we cannot see while they are selected hold down the control and click on the vertex now all this uh, vertex are selected 44 select uh, vertices are selected and I will weld them with a very small amount because they are overlap point one maybe is okay and okay when I push the okay it will show me 22 vertices selected and now so why I did that why I created that extra part is because I want to have a actually harder edge at the side but it is still need work so I will select this which we created by chamfer and loop it and move it up move it a little bit up and see the result now is it exactly what I wanted so we created our sink but uh, still uh, in the next videos we will create this cap facets and also this button part or handle of the bathroom